Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mom. We are back with more Don't Starve. Um, just daybreak of day six. Inventory's looking good. Food situation got better. Um, I don't know. It's not good. I'm finding a lot more food sources, but I cooked all my items. I shouldn't have done that. See, if, if you're planning on... Oop, don't pick that up. If you're planning on getting more types of the same food very early, you shouldn't really cook all of them. Just cook what you're going to eat. Otherwise, you're going to have two inventory spaces like this. I'm going to just eat my carrots and so I can pick up some new ones. Um, I know that wasn't beneficial for my hunger. I could have saved it and maybe waited a minute or two and then made some use out of that. But, you know, it's good for your health. I might as well get rid of it because my inventory is full. I don't want to drop any of my items. Because, um, I mean, what do I have here that I probably won't use? Pine cones? I can't really... Oh, what the... You know what? I'm dropping these pine cones. Pine cones are cool and all, but, um... With the control, you can't add to the flyer. You can't add fuel with that. Um, because once you carry an item that is placeable, playing with the control, it just... I don't know. You can't, you can't place it in the fire. That's all there is to it. So, okay, there is, okay, the road ends there. I am still exploring a little bit more. I love these lush areas. It just makes the game a lot more easier with a huge abundance of just all this. A cornucopia amounts of survival stuff. I must destroy the butterfly. Butterfly gives you health. Butterfly gives you health. Oh, God, come here. Come here, you bastard. You know you want to die. Oh, that's, that's horrible. I'm going to quickly drop these. Pick this guy up and eat it. Really good with health. Hold on, there is another. Got him. It's a lot easier killing the butterflies. Oops, pick that up. Yeah, it's a lot easier killing the butterflies with the control because all you ha you have an attack button. You have an attack button. See, I'm just doing it right away. And if you try to click on the butterflies while they're on something, um, it's just difficult. Like with with the with the mouse. So, I was in a lot of trouble last episode because I got hit by just tons of those tentacles, but. Look at my health. It's uh, almost full. Killing butterflies. Awesome. Alright, let's go. <clears throat> um, grass? Oh my god. I almost have 99. I'm at 87 right now. This is great. Let's see if I can... No, wait, never mind. I was going to drop a trap and try to get this guy. Aha! Ah, you bastard! <laughs> but, um... Just make more room in my inventory. Let's keep going. Okay, so everything's okay. Day six, nothing too crazy is gonna happen to me yet. I forgot when the hounds actually do pop up. I think um, vague, vaguely, um, ten to fifteen days of your survival, hounds go after you. They're pretty easy to kill. Um, just run around and hit them, kite them like every single mob in the game. Oh, what the heck? It ends here. Wow, look at this. It's like a it's like a little what kind of biome is that? Well, either way, we're good there, so that's all right. Um uh, all right, here's what we're going to do. Follow the road back down this way, see what we get. There is a spunk hole right there, so I could potentially live around this area and there are graves. I think it's important to go check those graves out and try my chances at getting um Oh my god, hold on. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, try my chances at getting that. Wait, 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 wait. No, pick the butterfly up. So difficult. No, pick up the but. There you go. Yes. Um, try to get the gear. There we go. Ice box for the win. Not only is ice box really good for um keeping my food my food like to not die out, but it's really really good for um light um keeping my light bulbs good. Okay, I have 99 grass and I have 99 sticks we are done with that no more stopping around like I said before we we're going back down down to the first Blunko I saw um, the reason I didn't go to that first Blunko and start exploring it was because of what it was like what day two um, I didn't really have that much on me I can I don't know it's getting late I need to it's getting late already but yeah I didn't have no <laughs> look at that guy he's like oh my god <laughs> he's like why Better him than me. Cold blooded Wilson. You're cold blooded. Um, I like swinging at the air. It's cool. All right, this road does take me down. But yeah, that Splunko doesn't really have the best food source around it. And I guess I could have maybe. Um, do I have a shovel on me? I do have a shovel, not because I crafted it, 
but because I picked it up off a dead body. So if I, that thing breaks, I have to make another prototype. But yeah, there was no food source around that place. And um, I kind of want a food source. So we're going to go down here. We'll see what happens. And let's see. Do I want to build there already? Or I can keep looking around this way. Okay, that thing is stuck. There's nothing around that area. But down here, there is something right below that sinkhole. So we're going to check that out in the next morning. I'm pretty sure I'm probably not going to get there in time. This is great, though. Um, I have a plan. Ooh, yay, seeds. So you can't just eat it off the floor. You have to pick it up, put it in your inventory, and then eat it. Um, so good news is I have everything for my science stuff. I got 18 gold nuggets. Which is definitely... Oh, crap. Get away from those. Ugh. Really puts my sanity down. You can see. Ugh. It's already low already. Dun, 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 dun. I don't want to dig these up just yet. Because what if I start finding a ghost or something? We're going to go down and explore. Don't start with a funny game. One minute you're doing something. The other you are distracted by a totally different thing. Is this a road? Oh, my God. This is a road. Okay. Where is this going to take me? Left or right, left or right, guys. Left? Okay, right. I'm sorry if you said left, okay? You didn't say fast enough. Alright, um... Where we go, where we go, where we go? Come on, Wilson. Do your thing. I never, I never really looked at his running animation, but, uh... His hair bounces up and down. It's funny. Aw, uh, wouldn't this be hilarious? Oh, what the... Winner? Winner? Oh, this is perfect. Guys, yes! Pig place... Right next to the Splunk hole, right next to some spiders, perfect area, I am living here. There seems, okay, it looks like um, a fire broke out, what is this? What happened? <gasps> Firehound! Okay, the next morning we will fight the Firehound with the help of the pigs. That was crazy. That's the first time I've seen a random Firehound around the place. Okay, cool that he's there. Bad news is I can, I can die. Yeah, we will definitely, I will need the aid, need um, the assistance of the pigs to destroy him. But for now, let's go ahead and make a fire. Where is the pig king? Should be around here, right? There's a lot of pigs. I mean, if the pig king still isn't here, I'm okay, but, you know, having him here would help a lot because there is, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay. Quick, quick, quick fire, quick fire, quick fire. Okay, we are good. Let's start building stuff. Let's go ahead and eat this, though. Alright, let's do it. Um, let's start off with my science machine, of course. Stay away from me, spider. I don't want to aggro you. Not right now. Not today. Not in the mood. Alright. Uh, I don't need that many of these, so let's put one. Two. Don't aggro me. Come on. Oh, great. He's standing right near my science machine. Ooh, what did he eat? Oh my, oh, my God. That's what that monster meat came from. I thought it came from a spider, but... It came from um, one of those fire guys. I guess they died. The pigs killed them or something. Let's continue making our junk. Alchemy engine. Oh, crap. A spider's just roaming around me. Um, alchemy engine, alchemy engine. Four, uh, four wood. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Okay, four wood. Let's cut stone. Oh, crap. Yeah, get him, pigs. You can do it. I'm going to drop the stuff on the ground that I'm not going to use like directly right now. And that the pigs won't pick. No, 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 fuck you! I can't believe they almost ate 24 pig skin. They're monsters. Oh my god. I dropped that trap. I have another. Oh yeah, look at that. Oh good, they killed it. And they left the fire staff. <gasps> There's a bunch of them. Let's watch. How am I supposed to use this thing? Either way, it's pretty cool that they're destroying these guys for me. Wow. Get him, guys! So glad I got these pigs here. And they drop Houndtooth, which is awesome, I guess. Okay, Sanity is going low. Sanity is going really low. <laughs> um, it's the start of day 7, but it looks really, really dark, doesn't it? I don't know what my current plan is. I need to chop some wood down. Uh, let's go ahead and make these guys my friend. Actually, mmm... Can I use a pigskin that, like, like, maybe, I don't know. Never mind. Um, I need some wood first. Wish there was some flowers on the ground I can just pick up. 
Okay, let's go ahead and cut these down. If there comes a tree guardian, these pigs will definitely help me. Oh, no, it broke. So I have a lot of stuff on my mind right now. But the first thing is I need to build a chest to put my stuff. And that means I need a lot of wood. Plus, I need the wood to make the science... To make the alchemy engine. So we're going to be cutting trees for a bit. And the good news is since it's morning, if a tree guardian does pop up, I'm pretty sure the pigs will aggro it as well. And we can get him out of the way very, very quick. Random pine cones, which I probably have to drop down later. Now, one of the mods that I have that won't help me at all is the uh, display value one. It'll only work if I use the key and mouse, and it, it only works because I mouse over it. If I mouse over it with the control like I am now, it just gives me the different options of what to do with the item. So it's not really going to do anything. I guess we'll keep chopping until um, the end of the day, because... I gotta make use of daylight, right? Alright, 46 log, but that's gonna go fast. I think log and grass just are the fastest resources to go if you wanna survive and do well. And do not starve. I can't do that, he says. Do what? Oh, you mean chop this down with that? Take that, nature. It's all piney. <coughs> it's been a while since I've seen those kind of other trees. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? The ones that look kind of bushy, not piney. Um, and oh no, it's going stale already? I should have cooked up so early. It's okay, they still gave me some benefits, but not as great as when they were, you know, ripe. There's, there's another pig house down here, and I fully haven't explored this bottom part. You back off, you back off, you jerk. Alright, um, I need to see if there's any flowers around here. There are flowers in this area. The thing is, I I don't want my sanity to go too low already. I, I'm starting to get my stride and start like building stuff. But if my sanity goes down, it's going to take a mood on me and my game feel. It's just going to suck. And rain doesn't really help. Rain is the worst part of it. Pick that up. Pretty sure that helped a little bit. Um. Okay, you know what? Oh, we can keep going left. Okay, this is my area. That is where I'm going to live. But let's keep looking around for now, and um, I gotta grab lots of petals. Maybe we can find some other stuff on the ground. Did I just pick up another twig? I did. Oh no no, not the grass. Pick up that grass. Pick up that grass. That's ninety freaking something grass. There we go. That's what I want. So picking these up gives me uh, five or so sanity each, and once I grab enough, I can go ahead and make the uh, thing for my head, which gives me sanity over time. But look at it. It's a freaking downpour. It's amazing. It's not even dusk. And my sanity goes down just because it rains. If he had an umbrella, it would... Oh, God, no, there's another fire. That's not good. Quickly pick this up before it burns everything. That's not good. That's not good. Come on, fire. I mean, uh, water put it out. Look, there's another splunk hole. What do we got here? Looks like there's nothing. Um, it seems to be around the same... Le no, this one's a little bit farther than the other Splunk Hole, but I guess if I don't like that one, I'll go to this one, because you remember, you cannot regen the underground anymore, so good thing I got, you know, options. <clears throat> dun -dun 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 -dun. It's still burning everything. It's still burning everything. Almost nighttime. Um, I do have enough log to last in the other night, though. Uh, I'm definitely not going to keep this ash on me. I know you only need it for what? For making the... The, you know, the, the salve. Uh, yeah, the, the potion. What the? The potion salve. Da, da, da. Did my axe break? I think it did. Look how dark it is. You can't see a thing. That's what sucks about rain, sanity, and darkness. You can't see anything. Um, looks like the trail ends here. But yeah, before I start settling down, I really want to get a lot more. I think this area will be perfect, but yeah. A lot more, um, butterfly, not butterfly, a lot more flowers so I can get my sanity up. That's what I'm worried about right now. I don't want to start fighting around right now. Okay. Let's go back to the house and just start making, you know, start building what I need. So we're going to build at least one chest. It's going to be pretty hard navigating it back and forth because I'm not, oh God, I'm not used to it using the control. That's the first time, but we'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see how well I do. 
Alrighty, here we go. We will go ahead and build um, the alchemy okay, engine. Okay, I, I need to drop some items really quick too. Drop this. We'll drop this. We'll drop these ashes. Not gonna use this. I have one extra grass. Well, I don't know why. Drop the silk. Drop the pine cones. And that's pretty, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of stuff on the ground. Okay, so let's start off by making four boards. Two, three, <clears throat> and four, and the stone. Good thing building these is when you build a new prototype, you get about 15 sanity, so that's good. Alright, we are good. Let's build that science thing, alchemy engine. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and just make our camp here, start setting up, and for now, I guess I'm going to have to end here. If you guys enjoyed the video whatsoever, uh, please leave a like, it helps so much. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. Become a Moblin today, and uh, if you guys really, really enjoy my video, help my channel grow by, you know, sharing it with your friends, favoriting it, liking it, putting it on your Facebook, or whatever. Um, thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you guys next time.